Okay, this should be the final video that I make for this course, and I apologize for my voice in the previous video in this one. Um, it's very late at night. Uh, I tend to overuse my voice during the day, so by nighttime I'm pretty hoarse. I'm also whispering because um, my baby is asleep in the house, and when she hears my voice it tends to wake her up. So, um, so that's why I'm kind of whispering as well. But uh, I believe you should be able to hear me, and uh, and you can of course turn up the volume if you need to. Um, so as I said in the earlier video, the rubrics for this course are under course information, and rubrics simply means um, the grading criteria or grading expectations. So I'm not going to go through all of these in detail. You can look at them yourself, but notice that um, there's a rubric for the final paper due week eight, and the instructions for um, that paper are under week eight in the course shell. Um, there's also a rubric for your discussion board assignments in this course, um, and you can take a look at that to see how I will be grading your discussion board posts. There is a rubric for the midterm paper as well, um, and the instructions for that appear under week five when the midterm paper is due. There is an online participation and engagement rubric, and that, of course, is based on your comments on your classmates' blogs. Every week, you'll have to comment on any blogs posted the week before. Short comments, it doesn't have to be too long, um, but this rubric will let you see what's required of you to get the full number of points for your comments on classmates' blogs. There's also a rubric for the blog itself. You each will have to write one blog by midnight Sunday of week seven, and this rubric tells you how I will be grading your blog assignment. And there's also a rubric for the wiki assignments. Remember, you have wikis weeks one, three, five, and seven. And this rubric tells you how I will be grading those wikis. Uh, the quizzes that you have in weeks two, four, six, and eight are uh, automatically graded on Blackboard, and your grade goes into the grade book. So, um, so we don't have to worry about a rubric for those. The answer is either right or wrong, and you're graded accordingly. All right, so that gives you a good introduction to what you're doing in this course. Of course, under each week, you get more specifics. Each week is set up like this. You have a bulleted list of the topics covered that week in the readings, in the readings, the, the supplementary sources, and the assignments. Each week, you also have PowerPoint slides from the textbook based on the readings. These will be really helpful to you as you complete assignments and check your understanding of the reading and really helpful for quizzes too. So take a look at them. They include discussion questions. I don't expect you to actually turn in to me your answers to these questions, but it's good to think about the discussion questions for yourself, for your midterm and your final papers, and also for your discussion board and wiki assignments. So do take a look at the PowerPoint slides every week. Also, every week you'll have some supplementary sources to go through. Um, Many times there are links to other online sources, and so if the links don't take you directly to the sites, like I don't think these do, see, you have to copy and paste the links into your web browser. Uh, that goes for video clips as well, some of them, and then you should be able to see what's on the page. If any of the links aren't working, send me an email to let me know, and I'll either remove the link um, and change assignments accordingly, or I will replace the link with another link. 
then every week you have an item that tells you what's due that week and then you have your discussion board questions to answer for the week. Remember your main post, your answers to the questions are due by midnight Thursday of the week and your uh, responses to three classmates postings are due by midnight Sunday. Actually this is two responded to classmates. I don't know if that's an error or let me see what week two says. No, just two. So uh, scratch what I said earlier in the earlier video in this one about responding to three classmates every week. You've got enough other stuff going on. You have to respond to their blogs. So um, every week you are responding to to two of your classmates posts every week. Let me check and make sure that's the case every week. Yep, two. What's this week for? Uh-huh. Week five is also two. Week six is two, is it? Yes, it is. All right, so thanks for bearing with me there. So every week you have a total of three posts, one main post and responses to two of your classmates' main posts. Yep, so total of three every week, not four. So you're responding to just two classmates, not three every week. Okay, going back to week one. Here's your discussion board. Also remember in weeks one, three, five, and seven, you have wiki assignments. These are small group collaborative assignments. If you've never done wikis before, all you have to do is click on view wiki. It takes you to the wiki. And I assume I myself am new to wikis. You just add what you need to add here in response to the wiki assignment and you submit it under comments and um, week one you'll need to read and respond to everyone's comments and uh, starting week three you're only going to be responding to the two or three other students in your small group so in week one's wiki you'll be choosing your small group and then uh, designating your group in this table. Uh, this, this class has a total of 10 students, so we'll have two small groups of three students each and one small group of four students each. It shouldn't make a difference in the end if one group has one more student than the others. Um, so this will make more and more sense as you do the wiki assignments each week. Um, or on the odd numbered weeks. And of course, you can always email me with any questions or concerns. So, week two set up the same way topics for the week, PowerPoint slides for the week, reading assignment, supplementary sources. Here, there are a couple of short YouTube videos to watch in week two your graded work for the week, your discussion board, and weeks two, four, six, and eight, you have 
25 question quizzes. Week 2, quiz 1, is on chapters 1 through 4. Uh, week 4, quiz 2, is on chapters 5 through 8. Uh, week 6 is on questions, sorry, chapters, let's see. Week 6 is chapters 9 through 12, and week 8 is a cumulative quiz on all 13 chapters in the book, so be sure to keep up with the reading in order to complete the quizzes. Of course, all the quizzes are open book, and they're graded automatically on Blackboard. Um, another note about week one. Week one is where you can find the blog. So even though you can turn in the blog any week before midnight Sunday of week seven, you have to go back to week one to submit the blog, to go into the blog and either write the blog or comment on your classmates' blogs. So remember that the blog is located under week one, and I tried to note that in the following weeks as well, that the blog is located under week one, and that's where you can access it. Um, here it describes what you need to do in the blog. With these blogs, think less of a diary or journal entry and more like a newspaper editorial or a column because that's how you'll be writing these blogs. You'll be writing them about a recent or current event that relates to something in the course, something you just read. Um, the instructions should be pretty clear as well as the grading rubric, but if you have any questions or concerns, of course, please email me. Week five, of course, by week five, hopefully you'll have your required blog done so that you can write the midterm paper. And note here under week five, at the end, you have the instructions and the rubric for the midterm paper. Again, the instructions are pretty clear. I will remind you of them closer to week five, but if you have any questions, let me know. And under week eight, and you don't have any readings for week eight, so that should help you. Under week eight, you have the instructions for the final paper, as well as the rubric for the final paper. And the final paper is set up much like the midterm paper. So that should help you there. So all of the other assignments are described in detail under the week that they're due. So look that over look over everything under course information. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to email me. And I'm a big emailer, so you'll be hearing from me throughout the course. So check your Brandman email. I'll be sending you all kinds of updates over these next eight weeks, as I'm sure. So hopefully these videos have given you everything you need to know in starting the course to help you finish this course successfully. So thank you, and I look forward to the next eight weeks.